How do? So, spool clamps, traditionally used in the making of violins and acoustic guitars, that kind of thing, but also just another useful clamp to have in the workshop. And let's face it, as we all know, you can never have too many clamps. Here's my quick and dirty way of making a stack of these. So to make one of these, you're gonna need some scrap wood of some sort, some cork, which I've just, this is a big cork board. This one's actually nicked from my daughter's bedroom. It's still got I Love Anakin Skywalker written on it. We'll try and cover that up. Um, but basically you're gonna need two circles. So glue the cork to the wood, then we'll start cutting everything out. You're also gonna need a little bit of threaded bar and a load of nuts. So I'm using a six mil threaded bar and I'm cutting off about seven to eight inches per section. So each one of these is gonna be about seven or eight inches long. Doesn't need to be particularly precise, but at least then I definitely know they're long enough that I wanna clamp a thicker guitar. It's still gonna work or some other job that you might be doing. Now to one end of that seven or eight inch threaded bar, I'm gonna super glue on the threaded nut uh, so that it's fixed and it doesn't move. That way I'm only ever tightening one end. Then we can get on with drilling everything out. So this is a 60mm hole boring bit. It's got a 6mm drill bit as a pilot hole in the middle, which fits perfectly onto my threaded bar. Now 60mm is probably a little bit bigger than most spool clamps, but hey, bigger's got to be better, right? Now, like I said, you're going to need two per clamp and cut out as many as you can, trim the end off and do another one. And then to make the nut a little bit easier to tighten, I'm going to put it inside of a little extension piece. So this is a 30 mil hole boring bit just to get out of some scrap wood. It doesn't matter what it is. And then I'm going to drill in a 12 mil hole, which is big enough to recess the nut entirely inside that hole. Then I'm just using some thick super glue, a tiny dob to begin with, put the entire nut inside the hole, and then fill all around the edges again with that thick super glue. This is gonna seep into the wood to hold steady, and obviously it's gonna fill all of those flat sides of the hole, meaning that we don't need to cut out a hexagon shape in each of these pieces. Now we super glued the nut on earlier on. What I'm going to do now is super glue one of those circular sections to the bottom. Again, so that's just fixed. It's not going to spin. It's going to make tightening up that little bit easier. It means then again, you, when you're hanging them up or you're moving them around, only one of those discs is going to move. Slide it on stick a washer on and then put that nutted threaded section on too and there you go one spool clamp done and while we've got the scrap wood out let's make a little stand as well so i'm just using some uh, sticky rubber tape to glue a section on you can see i've just routed out six mil sections that just hang perfectly out of the way until i need them perfect job yes a little rough and ready but there's nothing wrong with that and there we have a stack of very useful clamps really really easy to use easy to make why wouldn't you if you thought this was anything like useful click the like button in fact do all of these things down here because that's brilliant and until i see you next time watch this video because i think you'll like it and I'll see you soon. Okay, God bless.